Hi everyone, it's Maya Kinder here, founder of Obedient Soul. And in today's vlog, I just thought I would do a kind of spend the day with me in Korea. So I was staying in the Volker Hotel in Shinsa, which was really nice. And as you can see, I could see Namsan Tower from my hotel room, which was pretty cool. So as soon as I got up, I headed straight to the gym. I've recently tried to get back into running. So I just did a half hour on the treadmill, which meant that I could eat more food food for the day <laughs> and so after that I went back up to my room to get ready um, I bought a lot of house Adora products with me on this trip so I use their bath bomb and also their facial cleanser this is really handy because it's a powder wash so really handy for traveling and then I also used their sheet mask afterwards and how cute is this 107 this tiny little rice bran soap which you can use on your face and body so cute Okay, so I've got the House of Doha Rice sheet mask on for about 10 minutes. I'm going to take this off and then continue with the rest of my routine. I'm running a bit late. I've got 15 minutes to get ready, but we can do this. We can do this. So for the rest of my routine, I'm going in with the Kombucha Tea Essence from Dr. Curical. Obviously, I love this one, so I'm really happy that they come in this little travel kit as well with the Kombucha Gel Cream. For serum, I am going in with the Centella Unscented Serum. I always take this one with me traveling just because Centella Asiatic is really good at soothing and reducing redness. And I just find when I travel anywhere, especially with the changes in climate and after a long haul flight, my skin does tend to get a little bit red. And then for my moisturizer, I'm going in with the Trusty Nutrition Cream from Pyung Kang Yul. This is perfect for, I would say, a combination to dry skin types, um, but it's just a really good, moisturizer for daily use it is highly nourishing but it also feels lightweight it doesn't feel sticky at all and it contains traditional cream medicinal ingredients and then because I'm tired I'm going in with this fundamental eye awakening gel from Claire's I always take this one traveling with me as well it's super lightweight so if you don't like the feeling of any heavy creams around your eyes but still want to give that area of your face a little bit of TLC this is a really good one because it's such a lightweight consistency and it has a slightly cooling finish as well which I just find really refreshing in the mornings and then of course perfume this is the travel of the Jo Malone English Perrin Fraser so let's get ready taking a shot my Korean red ginseng with peach good base shot every day of this trip just so I don't get ill and for health. I got these as a gift from Sioris a couple months ago when the founder visited London and I really like them. I'm not sure if they do anything but I like to think that it helps. These are obviously really popular in Korea, these kind of ginseng shots. So I bought 14 with me for this trip and I'm gonna stock up on some more whilst I'm here. I like this one because it's not bitter and I feel like some of the ginseng shots that I've tried have been really bitter, but this one's nice and sweet. Okay, so makeup wise, I'm just going in with my new Hints cushion. I really like this one. Alicia Brow Products Merit. Uh, this is their blusher. I also use this stick for any kind of cover-ups. And my Alicia Lip Tint. This is the Hug Velvet Lip Tint. Um, I like this one because it's kind of a nude shade. And then this, I just decanted some of my Espoir setting spray in. Okay, I've got my gifts, let's go. getting ready I headed over to Samchongdong which is kind of near the palaces near Bukchon Hanok village and just walking around the streets here is so lovely there's so many cute little cafes and there's a real mix of old and new um, which I really liked and yeah I met Sissel um, a lot of you probably follow her on YouTube or Instagram for a coffee at this really cute cafe called Nima um, which was near the Bidu of Joseon flagship store which is why we decided to meet there 
but yeah just walking around here is just such a beautiful area and this cafe was so nice they had really nice pastries um, but I just had an iced coffee and we just caught up and had a chat before we decided to go for lunch and then go shopping at the new Beauty of Joseon flagship store. So I can't actually remember the name of this restaurant. We just found it in the kind of maze of tiny streets near Butchon Hanau village. But we ordered this avocado pesta pasta and this ricotta salad, which was amazing. Actually had prawns and tiny little bits of steak in as well. And then treated ourselves to a glass of red wine as well, because you know, why not? Following lunch, we headed down to Beauty of Joseon flagship store. So um, Beauty of Joseon's obviously become really popular over the last few years, so much so that they've now opened an offline store in Seoul. And the aesthetic of this store was just beautiful. Um, they obviously had just released a few days ago the Ginseng Sun Serum. So this is the third edition to their sun protection collection, I guess. Um, this product was it was a lot, I don't know, I, I think it's been met with quite a lot of negativity because it's got alcohol and essential oils in, which obviously aren't great for those with extremely sensitive skin. That said, I do have sensitive skin and actually when I tried it in store, I found it to be incredibly lightweight. Um, it didn't cause any irritation for me when I swatched it, so I'm interested to see how people will enjoy it. I think probably it'll be more popular for those with oilier skin types. Um, but yeah, here's just a look around. There's obviously a sink where you can try some of their body care products, and I decided to pick up a couple of products that I hadn't tried before, which is obviously the Ginseng Sun Serum and also their Scrub Wash Off Mask. And then Sissel took me to this really cool pub. It was called Kiwa Tap Room. But as you can see, it's in an old Hanok style building and they have um, locally brewed ales, which was really cool. So yeah, we just spent the afternoon. It actually was raining all afternoon and it was just so nice and relaxing. We were just catching up on a lot of stuff, drinking our beer. And I really felt like this day was the first day of my trip that I could properly just relax enjoy have fun with a friend um, I love just chatting with Cecil she's if you follow her on YouTube she's just such an inspiring person she's got a really lovely outlook on life and yeah she's just really helped me the last few months um, and so it was just really nice chatting with her and we ended up staying there for a couple of hours actually I think we ordered another round of beers and then also this artichoke dip that she highly recommended from this place and that was just a little snippet of a day in Korea. Because it was raining, I just went back to my hotel. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye, guys.